ever wondered what the edge of the universe could look like? Well, scientists might just be able to finally answer that question. Older telescopes aren't done just as yet, even though you'd probably think that they're outdated with the launch of the James Webb Telescope. They have been delivering some breathtaking views of the ends of the cosmos that we previously had no idea about. So, what mysteries lie in the far reaches of the universe? In 2014, NASA's Spitzer and Hubble Space Telescopes collectively spotted what seemed to be one of the farthest galaxies known to man, taking us viewers back to a time when our universe was only about 650 million years old. If you already didn't know, most scientists believe that our universe is 13.8 billion years old. The galaxy was dubbed Abel 2744Y1 and is about 30 times smaller than our Milky Way galaxy, but it is producing about 10 times more stars, as it typically was for galaxies when our universe was young. The discovery came from the Frontier Fields program, which produced the deepest observations ever made of galaxy clusters and the magnified galaxies behind them. These observations assisted astronomers in understanding how stars and galaxies emerged out of the dark ages of the universe when space was dark, opaque, and filled with hydrogen using NASA's multi-wavelength suite of great observatories, namely NASA's Spitzer sees infrared light, Hubble sees visible and shorter wavelength infrared light, and NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory sees X-rays. The telescopes got a boost from natural lenses as they were peering through the clusters of galaxies where gravity magnifies the light of more distant galaxies. The Frontier Fields program took images of six galaxy clusters and the Hubble images of the region are used to spot distant galaxies just like this one. Then Spitzer, on the other hand, is needed to determine if the galaxies are, in fact, as far as they seem. Spitzer data also helps determine how many stars are in the galaxy. The results from the program came from images of the Abel 2744 galaxy cluster. The distance to this galaxy make it one of the farthest known to date. Astronomers say it has a redshift of 8, which is a measure of the degree to which its light has been shifted to redder wavelengths due to the expansion of our universe. The farther a galaxy, the higher the redshift. The farthest confirmed galaxy has a redshift of more than 7. Other candidates have been identified with redshifts as high as 11. Jason Suris of NASA's Spitzer Science Center at the California Institute of Technology, Pasadena, said, Just a handful of galaxies at these great distances are known. The Frontier Fields program is already working to find more of these distant, faint galaxies. This is a preview of what's to come. The findings were led by astronomers from the Instituto de Astrofisica de Canarias and Laguna University and are an exciting preview of the mysteries we might go on to find. Though this was discovered back in 2014, it's still one of the farthest ever found, and with years of peering into the sky, we might have just found another galaxy far, far away. Astronomers have peered out into the vast expanse and spotted what they think is the farthest and oldest galaxy ever observed. Meet GN Z11, a galaxy that might not have a flashy name. It kind of sounds like a Windows XP serial key to be honest, but it appears to be the most distant and oldest galaxy ever detected that scientists have found. GN Z11 is seen as it was 13.4 billion years in the past, just 400 million years after the Big Bang, and is located in the direction of the constellation of Ursa Major. Astronomers led by Nobunari Kashikawa, a professor at the Department of Astronomy at the University of Tokyo, took up the mission to find the universe's most distant observable galaxy to learn more about how it formed and when. Kashikawa said in a statement, from previous studies, the galaxy GN Z11 seems to be the farthest detectable galaxy from us at 13.4 billion light years, or 134 nonillion kilometers. That's 134 followed by 30 zeros. But measuring and verifying such a distance is not an easy task. 
To understand how far GNZ-11 is from us here on planet Earth, Kashikawa's team studied the galaxy's redshift or how much its light has stretched out or shifted toward the red end of the spectrum. In general, the farther away a structure is from us on Earth, the more redshifted its light will be. The team also looked at GNZ-11's emission lines, the observable chemical signatures in the light coming from cosmic objects. When studying these signatures closely, the team was able to figure out how far the light coming from GNZ-11 must have traveled to get to us, giving them the required data to estimate its overall distance from Earth. Kashikawa further explained, We looked at ultraviolet light specifically as that is the area of the electromagnetic spectrum we expected to find the red-shifted chemical signatures. The Hubble Space Telescope detected the signature multiple times in the spectrum of GNZ-11. However, even the Hubble cannot resolve ultraviolet emission lines to the degree we needed. So we turned to a more up-to-date ground-based spectrograph, an instrument to measure emission lines called MOSFIRE, which is mounted to the Keck-1 telescope in Hawaii. Using MOSFIRE, Kashikawa's team was able to observe and study the emission lines coming from the galaxy in thorough detail. If other observations confirm the new findings, GNZ-11 would officially be the most distant galaxy ever seen. But we might have found something farther. In April of 2022, Researchers spotted what is pondered to be the farthest astronomical object ever found, a galaxy named HD1 that they estimate is 13.5 billion light years away. That's 100 million light years more distant than the current farthest galaxy, GNZ11. HD1 is particularly bright in ultraviolet light, allowing scientists to understand that this one has highly energetic activity in the galaxy. Scientists originally thought it might be a starburst galaxy or one that produces stars at a relatively high rate. But, when taking a close look, astronomers discovered that the galaxy candidate was producing more than 100 stars annually, at a rate that's 10 times higher than typical starburst galaxies. Now, researchers suggest two new possibilities to explain the extreme energy emitted from the galaxy. The first one is that it might have a supermassive black hole 100 million times as massive as the Sun at its center that would be the oldest black hole that size ever observed. On the other hand, HD1 might be home to some of the universe's very first stars, which astronomers haven't been able to observe to date. Fabio Picucci, co-author of the study, announced the discovery and an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics said in a statement, The very first population of stars that formed in the universe were more massive, more luminous, and hotter than modern stars. These stars, called Population 3 stars, are said to produce much higher levels of ultraviolet light than your average star, potentially explaining why HD1 is so bright. If astronomers prove that HD1 does have population 3 stars, it would mark the first time these objects have ever been observed. Astronomers spotted HD1 during 1,200 hours of observation with the Subaru Telescope in Hawaii, Vista Telescope in Chile, the UK Infrared Telescope, and NASA's now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope, then confirmed its distance with observations gathered by the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile. For more clarity on the data, the team will soon observe HD1 with the James Webb Space Telescope to further verify their calculations. So, what other mysteries will we find at the ends of the universe? And what do you think it's like living in one of these galaxies? Let us know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.